So you caught up to him right at the store, and, and then just walk us through it. And I don't remember if he was facing, let's see, he was like that, so he must have been running like this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I came at him from this side or the back side, but I was already mm -hmm. pulling and tugging and he dropped the painting. And the painting just dropped and sort of mm -hmm. bounced and ended up resting against something. Mm -hmm. And I tried to hold the door shut, but he just, you know, like a football player, just mm -hmm. plowed through. Mm -hmm. And as he plowed through, you know, I mm -hmm. reached for him. Mm -hmm. And as I reached for him and tried to grab him, you know, he kind of came out of his jacket. Mm -hmm. And then as he went further, I reached for his neck again, the back of his neck, his collar. Mm -hmm. And that's where I caught him and sort of got him more into like a bear hug. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we kind of wrestled around and I got him into a chokehold and we kind of bounced around. Mm -hmm. on the sidewalk and fighting, mm -hmm. wrestling, and again, this is not just as fast as I'm walking down here because it mm -hmm. took a few minutes for this to all happen. Mm -hmm. But we sort of landed right about over here and you know, people were already kind of starting to drift up because mm -hmm. there was a lot of commotion, a lot of yelling. He was yelling, I was yelling. I was telling him, you know, don't try to get away. I won't let you get away. You're, you, you know, you're not going anywhere. And, Boom, he's down here kind of on the ground. He's sort of, you know, sitting with his back up against the wall and he's being held down by, mm -hmm. by me and maybe one of the other bystanders. And uh, he's just being held there and told not to try to get up mm -hmm. because he's not going to go anywhere. And then, you know, the police start walking down the street, the planes close, police guys, and they finally sort of, you know, take over. And, uh, they, they, they sort of take charge, mm -hmm. and after you know spending a few minutes finding out what's going on, they put this guy in handcuffs, and uh, you know they take him away. I don't know how long that took. It was you know ten minutes, five, ten, fifteen minutes at the most. And then you know they interviewed. You know they continued to ask me a few questions, and then I eventually just went back into the gallery and just spent the next hour or two just sitting there kind of, you know, just trying to take stock of what had just happened. And I was still so, as I said, so uh, adrenaline charged that, you know, it just took me quite a long time to just settle back down again because I had never experienced anything quite like that. And I went at him, you know, without any with sort of any thought of, you know, what if he really had weapons on him, but he didn't. Fair enough. Thank you so much.